And I think this theme of focus and choosing, choosing where we place our focus, you know, we do actually have that um, choice. So hopefully this practice will help us to focus and I'll give you lots of points of reference to focus upon. Focus on that sound. Yeah, the sound of the bell. That's, uh, I love bells because there's always a sense of like waking up, waking up even when you're not asleep and we're kind of like can get a bit dozy and then locked up and involved in our thoughts. So waking up to reality. Let's engage with this energy. I'm going to start standing. And as I do love these energizers, they're a great one, particularly if you're thinking in the morning, I don't feel like doing my practice or whenever you might do another practice or doing something. Once you do this energizer, you feel much more likely to do something. So bring the sides of the feet together, legs together, breathing in, bring the arms up above the head, interlink the fingers if you want. I tend to find this is really useful or have the hands together and extend the arms up, reach the arms up, lift the heels off the ground, extend and also squeeze and hold the breath in. Hold the breath in a little bit longer, keep extending, keep lifting the heels and then breathing out slowly through the nostrils. Now we're taking the hands out to the side as we breathe out, slowly let the heels land down on the ground again. Feel that ground on the, underneath your feet. Now we're going to open up, open up the arms, scoop up all the energy for our battery cell, breathing in, hold, hold the breath in, extend the arms up, push the toes into the ground, lift the heels off the ground, hold the breath in, and breathing out slowly and steadily through the nostrils and bring the heels back down to the ground. We're going to do one more of these. If this doesn't wake you up and get you energized, nothing will. This always works, always works. So it's well worth trying. It only takes a few seconds. Hold the breath in, squeeze the legs together, squeeze the arms together, extend, and then breathing out slowly, slowly, as controlled as you can. Slowly bring the heels down to the ground. Get the feet apart a little bit. Lift the shoulders up, breathing in. And out through the mouth. Let's release some of this tension. We have to really focus on that first of all sometimes. Removing some of that surface tension just gives us space. And as soon as we have a bit more space in our body and our breath, it's just everything that feels much more manageable. And let's just get these arms moving. Tension, this tension gatherer here. Let's uh, activate this area and loosen it up. So shoulder circles, shoulder, big circles, uh, shoulder circles. Left hand on left hip. Notice how both knees are kind of soft, left foot in front of the other. And then we're going to swing that arm really strongly. Let it really go. But keep breathing in and out through the nostrils. Let the rest of the body be kind of open and accessible. This arm is active, making sure if you've got a low ceiling like me, you want to just check you're not going to knock into anything slowly. And then you know you can do that. So you can let the arm go. Big circles around and around backwards, first of all. You can really let the weight of the arm do the work here and just a bit of momentum. But keep breathing in and out the whole time. I'm going to let the arm swing again, holding onto the, the fingers gently there, like a soft, soft fist. And then we go forwards with the arms. So let it be big, beautiful circles. Breathing in and out through the nostrils. Good. And then slowly come to a stop. Notice how it feels. Yeah, this whole arm feels much more vital now. Right foot forward, left foot back, get the feet nice and grounded. Hold on to the fingers gently, swinging this right arm forward and back, and putting the right hand on the hip just to keep everything nice and steady, and get that arm going. We're going to go backwards first of all. Big arm circles, breathing in and out through the nostrils, warming up, not just the shoulder joint, but this kind of works into the arm, into the neck, into the chest, all this area that gets woken up. Good, and I think we need to go forwards now, I can't remember. <laughs> Did it or not yet? Yeah, so just the weight of the arm, keep everything else relaxed, breathing in and out through the nostrils. Good. And let the arms, now we just let the arms both swing. So feet a bit wider apart, knees are bent, and let the arms swing heavily side to side. It's kind of like this orangutan feeling. So really let the elbows be soft. We're just incre uh, increasing that whole movement. Okay, good. So neck. Let's make sure the feet are underneath, so the shoulders, the hips, the ankles, and the feet, or the ankles, all in alignment. 
So try and feel the sense of the feet hip width apart, parallel. And we're just going to look at the neck a little bit because it often gets missed out. Soft knees. So first of all, breathe in through the nostrils. And as you breathe out, turn your nose towards the left. Take it as far as you can, but keep dropping the shoulders because you want to think about lengthening that neck as the fingers are reaching to the ground. Breathe in again. We're going to just take the nose a little bit further around, but only um, as much as the neck will allow you, and just breathing out to do that. Use the next inhale to come to front. Always moving with the breath, and in the exhale, turn the head to look over the right shoulder. Keep dropping the shoulders down. Keep the head on top of the body, keep the chin slightly tucked in. So it's almost a feeling of lengthening the back of the neck, back of the head. And again, breathing in, filling the body with air, and as you breathe out, just taking that nose a little bit further around to the right. It's a very simple but very effective. Breathing in again, breathing out, bring the head back to centre. Breathing out, take the left ear down to the left shoulder. And this is, I think, very powerful. So we're just letting the right side of the neck open up. Try and keep the face looking forwards and just keep dropping the shoulders down. And have a slight feeling of that right ear being lifted up and have a feeling of that right shoulder being weighted down. So you feel just with the weight of the head and the position of the body that we're lengthening the right side. We're not pushing anything. Keep the knees nice and soft. Keep connection with the ground. Use the inhale to lift the head back up. You realize how heavy the head is when you have that in that position. Now breathing out, taking the head over to the right now. Just dropping both the shoulders down, feeling the fingertips reaching to the ground. Breathing in through the nostrils, breathing out through the nostrils, just bringing that right ear down to that right shoulder. Having a sense of this left ear, the top of the ear being lifted up to the sky. Let that happen naturally. Breathe out fully. Use the next inhale to lift the head back up. Breathing out, bring the chin to the chest. Let the head drop. Soften the knees so you can really allow the back to relax. You can let the arms hang forwards. And just let the chin rest on the chest or, or work towards there. Back of the neck is getting relaxed now. Breathe with that, breathing in and out through the nostrils. Use the next inhale to lift the head back up and breathe out. Got one more thing to do, it's gonna lift the chin and open the front of the throat. So we're not throwing the head back. We're having more of a sense of opening the front of the throat, opening the chest, letting the shoulders sit back and breathing into this upper chest area. Good. Having a sense of this part of the body, this throat area. If you're thinking about this energetically. This is our uh, communication, but also our, our receptivity. So communication is both ways, how we receive and how we project ourselves, how we express ourselves. So very important to keep this nice and cleansed. Breathing in and breathing out, letting the head come back to a central place. How's that feel now? Yeah, it feels a bit more, a bit more uh, woken up a little bit. So let's so continue with a bit more opening in the chest area. Feet are around about hips width apart, can be a bit wider if you want. And um, bring the, interlink the fingers in front of the body. Breathe in to the chest, and as you breathe out, soften the knees and take the hands forward, drop the head down. So we're opening between the shoulder blades, breathing into that space between the shoulder blades, breathing out, take the hands forwards, take the shoulders forwards, increase the space across the upper back, enjoy that feeling. You'll feel that internally in your chest area as well, increasing the space around the heart. Good, one more breath in. And release on the out breath. Whoa. Notice how that feels for a second. Now we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to open up the front of the chest, interlink the fingers behind the back, breathe into the chest, open it up. And as you breathe out, just taking the hands back and also maybe slightly lifting them up. Try not to make the shoulders come up. Try to keep the shoulders going back and the chest going forwards. So we get this lengthening. It's a bit like it's a slight back bend happening here because we're opening the front of the body. That's what happens. So try and keep the neck kind of in line with the spine, so it's a slight tuck in with the chin. Soften the knees so they're playing along with you. Good. And breathe with this. Breathe into that heart space. Breathe out. Arms coming back. One more breath in. 
and release. Ah, yeah, it feels good to let go of that. Get the hands in front and behind, just loosening the arms and just noticing the space around us. We're just like marking that space around us. This is a nice little feeling. A little protective circle around us, if you like. And let's release some any negative energy, any kind of worries or kind of claggy stuff that's kind of gathered during the day with a half breath. Breathing in, look up, extend up, breathing out <sighs> through the mouth. Let the arms swing heavily. Good, let's try that again. Breathing in and out through the mouth. <sighs> Knees are bending, arms are really floppy. Let's try that again when you're ready. Fresh new in breath. <sighs> out with the old and in with the new. That's what this time of year is about. Okay, breathing in one more time. Fresh new in breath. <sighs> Good. Okay. A couple more things. Of course, I have to do the high Tai Chi twist. So feet a bit wider, knees a bit springy. Let's just let the knee, let's just let the heels bounce on the ground, just to get a sense of the ground, sense of our body, our physicality. Arms are nice and floppy. Good. And now we're going to come into the Tai Chi twist. So knees are bent, arms are hanging, and just twist on our central axis, bending into the knees, maybe making it even more flowing by coming up onto the toe, looking behind you, lifting the heel off the ground, and breathe, loosen everything up. Let ourselves become more open to the flow, to the flow of prosperity. Allow ourselves to be open to, you know, what life wants to give us, show us, bring us the abundance and the positivity. And even the difficult things that have, you know, these little kind of traces of gold in them. We don't always see that straight away. And let's pummel the lower back, back to the hands. Wake up, Kundalini, subtle energy of the body. And then we'll take the knuckles either side of the lower spine and get that rising up. Whoa, feel a nice little bit of an energy sparkle coming up through the spine. Ah, feels great, good. And let's just um, let's bring that to the heart space as well. May as well. We've opened up this chest area. So get those fingers pummeling the whole chest area into the center. Wow, wake up the heart. And maybe feel those little sparks in the heart, waking it up. And then out to the sides, on the upper ribs there. Whoa, I can certainly feel it. It's quite sparky, that energy. Good. Okay. And then we'll warm the legs up in a nice simple way, just by bringing the heel to the backside, just waking them up. You might feel a bit stiff if you've been doing a lot of sitting. Or if you've been doing walking, sometimes, you know, legs can feel a bit stiff. So let's get them energised, shifting this energy. When we're feeling anxious or tense, there's a lot of energy that's bundled up. So meeting that energy with other energy and release, you'll find very quickly, wow, I've got all this energy surging around and then lifting the knees up high but we have to engage with it we allow it to kind of make us get small and um, tensed up and inactive then it's what we kind of sometimes want to do but if we try and meet that energy with energy then often we can release the tension and immediately we're kind of starting to work towards and of freedom in ourselves, in our bodies and in our minds, and creating space. And then we're going to take the knee up and out to the side. Let's open up the hips. Ah, oh, yeah. Definitely there's lots of energy in the hips. Sometimes the hip and the lower back can get a little bit stodgy. We can get a little bit, we carry stuff in our lower back if we're feeling tense. Or we're carrying some emotional stuff in the lower back. So we give it some space. We give it some acknowledgement. Okay, now we're a bit more warm. Let's come into the front of the mat. We're going to come into a triangle. Get a bit of openness in the side body. So standing, lift the, lift the toes, place them down. Lift the heels, place them down. Plant the feet, soft the knees. Lift the chest. Yeah, bright energy. Put the weight on the left foot, step back with the right. Got these lovely right angles going on. Now get the, the hips level with the long edge of the mat, breathing in, lift the arms up, lift the chest, breathing out, lower the arms down. Breathing in, open the chest, open the hands, breathing out, reaching over to your left as far as you can, then down. Make contact with the leg, 
reaching up away from that with the right hand. Open the chest, drop that right shoulder back, soften the knees, feel your contact with the ground, maybe wiggle the toes. Sometimes these extra little taking your attention around your body and activating certain parts just keeps everything lively and stops us going into that kind of when is this going to be over or how much longer. Breathe. Feel that chest open. Good. Use the inhale to come up. Maybe bend into that left knee to soften it. Lower the arms down on the out breath. Bend into the right knee. Bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Take a moment to shift the weight to the right. Step back with the left. Good. Level the hips. Check your feet. Breathing in, lift the arms up, lift the chest. Breathing out, the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, open the chest, open the hands. Breathing out, reaching over to your right and down. Make contact with that leg, lower leg, and reaching up away from it. Maybe pushing away with that lower arm taking that right shoulder forward so that the left shoulder can sit back. It's quite simple that, a little shift. And it really opens up this posture. Extend the fingers to the skies or the ceiling. Keep that strong in that left hip. Make that left waist nice and long. Breathe deeply, soften the knees. Use the inhale to come up. Lower the arms on the out breath. Bend into the left knee, bring yourself back front of the mat. Take a moment there. We're going to come into a reverse triangle. Nice little bit of bending and twisting. So step back with the right. We start and then we just uh, turn that left foot so both feet are facing forward parallel. Okay. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, open the chest. Breathing out, turning to the right, outside of the right leg. Breathe in here and take the left hand down to the outside of the right leg. Maybe down to the ankle if you can. You can press against it and reach up with the right hand. So we're getting a strong twist here and turn your head to look up at that right hand. So this is not so easy. And it's, uh, it's, much, it's also much more, it's a much stronger position. You're bending and you're twisting. So stay really mindful, strong legs, soft knees. Breathe deeply, dig deep with your breath. So we're not gonna come back up one go. We're going to take come into a forward bend. So the right hand goes onto the right foot, the left hand goes onto the left foot. Just bring the fingers to the center. Come up on your fingertips, look forwards. Lift the chest, breathing out. See if you can come into this forward bend. Maybe even flatten the hands. Make sure you make contact with the ground there, whatever you're doing. So if you need to bend the knees, whatever you need to do to do that. But see if you can, how much of a forward bend can you come into? How close can the head come down to the ground? And breathe. Come up again, breathing in, look forwards. And breathe out. Now soften the knees slightly. Take the hands to the hips or waist. Lift the eyes, lift the chest. The elbows are pointing up so your chest is lifted. Straight, strong back, look directly forwards. Now breathe out. And next in breath, lift your body up to standing. Good. Okay. So other side now. Breathing in. Lift the arms up. Breathing out. Bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in. Open the chest. Breathing out. Turning towards your left. Breathe in here. And then the right hand down to the left leg on the out breath. This is out breath as you come down. Outside of the leg if you can. Wherever that hand goes. And then you reach up away from it with the left hand. So the chest wants to look up at the sky or the ceiling there. Fingertips go up to the ceiling. Breathe, strong legs, breathe deeply. Dig deep with the breath. Notice how your body feels in this position. It's a much more constricted. Notice the breath is, is much less easy to flow. So in this position, you're kind of pushing the breath into much more different areas. So we're expanding the lungs. One more breath in, then bring the left hand down to the left foot, right down to the right foot. Bring the hands to centre, breathing in, lift the eyes, look forward, straight back, breathing out, forward bend, same thing. Maybe there's a bit more space now. So now we're going to come up in a ragdoll, so we just bend the knees, simple, wide leg ragdoll, bend the knees, let the body hang, breathe in through the nostrils, sigh out through the mouth, 
So the legs are doing the work here, upper body, particularly the head is nice and relaxed, neck is relaxed. Just twisting, turning the head as if you're saying no, just to relax the neck even more. Now lift, feel that lift coming from the base of the spine. Keep the knees bent as long as you can. Leave the arms hanging, leave the head heavy. Keep breathing in and out, slowly as you can. So you're coming up to standing, slowly lift up. And just enjoy that beautiful coming from hanging to standing tall, unraveling everything, beautiful. And while we're here, we're just gonna come into a, um, another forward bend with the fingers interlinked again to open the chest even more. So interlink the fingers behind the back, let them just relax there, breathe in, lift the chest. And as you breathe out, take the chest forward, take the chin forward, soften the knees slightly, but keep the legs straight. And once you're down in this forward bend, as much as you can, then you let the arms fall forwards. So first of all, you're just taking them forwards and breathe. Let the head relax, let the neck relax. So we're really working on breath and release here. Because these shoulders will let go, particularly if you lengthen the out breath, keeping the breath in and out through the nostrils. So you don't need to push the arms at all, just releasing with the out breath, slightly soft knees. Breathe deep, long in, and then breathe long, long, long out. Now take those hands, still interlinked, to the centre of the back, and just draw a circle, maybe um, clockwise to begin. Just freeing up that energy there, and then change it in the other direction, and circles, and feel that that's winding you back up, soft knees, just easy, uncurling, and still drawing this lovely circle on the back. Yeah, feels good. Stay in contact with yourself. Okay, so we're going to bring the feet together now, however you want to do that, and we're going to come to the back of the mat. We're going to step into Warrior One. Why not step from the back instead? So feet are in a little V-shape, heels are a space between them, and we'll put the weight onto the left foot, and then we we'll take a big step forward with the right. So you might want to take a couple of steps, and you might want to adjust your position if you are feeling a bit off balance and widen your stance. Take the hip position, you really want to focus on getting the hips level. So right hip goes back, left hip goes forward, push that back heel down. I'm going to take the arms out to the side this time, because I've got space here for a change. So breathing in, lift the arms out to the side, directly out, so really strong arms. And on the out breath, we're going to just bend that right knee. So we're really focusing a bit more on the legs here. So right knee hovers above the ankle, as that knee goes forward, don't forget, really key to push back into that left heel, the back heel. So we've got these two points moving away from each other. Also think about the position of your pelvis, right hip back, left hip forward, pointing the tailbone down, strong belly. This area is working hard. Keep extending the arms out to the sides, directly out, palms are facing down. Good. So strong arms here. Breathing deeply. One more breath in and breathe out. Use the in-breath to come up, lower the arms down on the out-breath. We're going to come into a forward bend. The straight leg, try not to lock the knee, unlock it first of all. You can either come into this forward bend holding the back if you feel you need more support or extension. If you're extending, lift the feeling, uh, fingers up, look at the back of the hand as you come forward, strengthen the leg, strong leg here. Forward bend, make contact with the ground. So even if you're on fingertips, if you, even if you need to bend the knee, whatever you need to do, be in contact. So now we're going to lengthen this right leg, make it long. So we need to push the big toe into the ground and lift up away, feel that right sitting bone is reaching up away and behind. And the body is coming down towards this leg. So we get this lovely feeling of lengthening away, pushing the Big toe into the ground. It's good to notice as well when you're just when you're walking or standing is, is how you use your feet and your toes. You know, do you really ground yourself by um, making sure that you are almost, you know, the, the big toe is making contact with the ground? It's worth having a it's worth checking that and seeing how you 
how where you dis distribute your weight in your foot because we're all quite different so we're going to come out softly so bend that right knee walk the hands up the leg and into the right knee we're going to step back back of the mat give the legs a little shake right we're going to step onto the right side and take a big step forward with the left yeah land adjust your feet right hip forward left hip back before we come into that uh, warrior pushing that right heel back so warrior one virabhadrasana one point the tailbone down slightly different we're going to do a different arm position now so we're going to lift the arms up again the space between the hands here bring the shoulders down breathe in as you breathe out left knee goes forward right heel push, pushes back strongly good you can look up at the space between the hands if you want to or you can just look directly forwards you choose which is most appropriate for you slightly more challenging on the balance there and you've also increased that extension of the, the front of the body so as you look up feel that that chest is lifting even more but if you're looking forward just still lifting and elevating the chest and lengthening the front of the body keep taking that right hip forward left hip back strong pelvic floor there to support you very useful in warriors use the inhale to come up straighten the leg breathing out lower the arms down coming into the forward bend now so don't forget you have the choice holding the back or extending inhale exhaling soften that knee so we're not locking it taking the hands right down making contact with the ground breathe in take the body away from the leg and then let the body relax down on the out breath lengthening the whole leg push the big toe into the ground extend the leg away lifting that left sitting bone away that left hip away straightening and lengthening allowing the body to relax down with each out breath good enjoy your breath the abundance of breath amazing stay a little bit longer now we're going to bend that left knee and walk the hands back up the leg bending into that left knee and coming back to the back of the mat it's not so easy <laughs> give the legs a little shake okay let's take a moment here just to loosen everything up once more we're going to do another one of these tai chi twists so knees are nice and soft and let the body just twist on its center coming back to our center breathing in and out through the nostrils just enjoying your breath just loosening everything up giving yourself a moment just to center focus on your body your breath noticing where your mind is going what it's focusing on bring it back to the breath balance tree balance really embodied physical and beautiful this tree so we're going to start on the left foot so place the toes place that foot down soften the knee find your focus for your eyes this is your drishti point, the focus point for the eyes, and breathe. So everything is soft, and now you're going to take that right foot and place it either high on the inner thigh or on the calf, not on the knee, or with the toes on the ground and the foot on the, on the ankle. So make that choice. Press the leg back towards the foot, particularly if it's on the thigh. Now we're going to breathe in, lift the chest, lift the arms. We're going to take these hands out to the side, these little twigs. The fingers are the little twigs, the arms are the branches. The body is like the trunk of the tree and the legs are like the roots going down into the ground. And the head is like the crown, you know, all the leaves. The head is the crown of the tree, that beautiful green abundant part of the tree. So keep lifting and opening the heart, keep extending the front of the body. So everything, the upper body is reaching to the light, expanding to catch as much light as possible, like these trees do. And everything is in the waist uh, is going down. And it's going down as the ground is stable, strong, drawing up the nurture, the moisture from the earth. So you can relax the foot. It's just part of the roots going down beyond the ground. Good. Breathe steady. Now use the inhale to lift the arms up, bring the hands together. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart centre. Before that foot goes down, let's give it a little squeeze, lifting the knee high. 
lower it down slowly as you can. Place it on the ground and maybe give the legs a little shake. You can have feet on the ground if you like, if you want to just shake and energize the legs, even them up or shake them out. Sometimes that feels good just to even out and reset. Now send all the weight into the right foot, roots going down into the soil. Bend that right knee. Focus your eyes. Breathe. Steady breath. When you feel ready, when you feel steady, <clears throat> and you can place the foot wherever you choose. And think about this knee going out to the side, so we're opening this hip section and lifting up the chest away from there. Breathing in, lift the arms up. We're going to bring the hands together above the head and then bring them into the heart centre this time. Pressing the hands together, drawing that chest, the heart, towards those thumbs, maybe even connecting there. Dropping the shoulders back, lengthening the back of the neck, so everything is extending and expanding. Yeah, feel that the foot can relax and open to the ground. Feel that knee is going right out to the side, open hip. Front of the body is long, tailbone pointing down to the ground. So extended, open, breathing, living tree. And you feel totally stable because your roots are going down from the sole of the foot, down right deep into the earth. Good. Breathe. Enjoy your breath. Coming out now, breathing in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, lower the arms down slowly on that out breath. Take hold of that knee, give it a squeeze, and lower it down again. Give the legs another shake. And meeting energy with energy, what's the better, best posture for that is warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. So this is a strong balance, so we're going to do another balance now. Step onto the right foot, get yourself really steady, try and keep the hips level. Take all the weight into that foot, try not to grip the ground, and notice how I'm lifting the back leg up. You can have your toe pointed or push the heel away, whichever you choose, but keep the hips level and extend the arms forwards. You can use a wall or a piece of furniture if you want to lean onto something. Have the hands together, have the hands apart, interlink the thumbs, I like this. And you're gonna try and extend that leg back and extend the arms forward, away from each other. Try not to grip the ground with the toes, breathe. Breathe deeply. Good, see if you can stay for another breath. One more breath in and then release down slowly the foot to the ground. Okay, let's try the other way. This time we're going to step onto the left foot, take the weight into that foot, spread the toes, so feel the ground, feel the support, feel the strength of the leg. So having the knee sta uh, standing leg with the knee bent helps to keep um, the balance is easier, but you, but you have to use the leg a bit more. And then start to lift the right leg away. If you have something you can hold on to, making sure the arm is extended rather than bent, that's fine. Extend the arms forward and extend the right leg back. Good, breathe deeply. Try and keep those hips level. That right hip will want to lift up, but you can really focus, keep a strong pelvic floor in the center. Breathe, breathe deeply. One more breath in and breathing out slowly out that leg down. So, getting a bit of heat. Yeah, we're just going to release, come into a, a restoring posture. So, coming into a squat. If your heels come off the ground like this, then put some padding underneath them. You could put cushions, blankets, rolled up mats, whatever. Knees are nice and wide, or as wide as feels comfortable. And knees and toes are in the same uh, alignment, if you like. So do whatever feels comfortable for you. It's great for releasing the hips, opening the hips. So just let the body hang forwards between the knees. Let the neck relax. So we're giving that back of the neck some space, using the weight of the head to create that space in the neck and the upper back. Let the arms just flop forwards heavy. You can even lean onto the ground. Breathing in through the nostrils. Ah, 
sigh out through the mouth. Yeah, it's good to be vocal, to release, ah, to express. Ah, good. Lift the head back up, bring the left hand to the center. We're going to breathe in, fingertips are lifting up to the sky, to the ceiling. Watch that right hand as it lifts up and then rotating clockwise. Rotating the wrists, Watch, watching that right wrist as it rotates and then rotating it the other direction and letting it come back slowly back down, wind its way back down to the earth. Breathing in, the fingertips are lifting up to the sky, to the ceiling on that inhale, opening the chest, you know, turn the chest up to look at the left hand and then we're rotating again clockwise. Rotating that wrist, watching it all the time, stay interested, keep your focus, choose where you place your focus, where you look, where you, where you focus your attention. This is where everything else follows. So we can choose where we place that attention. It's one of the only things we have much control over, where we place our attention. Hands on the ground, we're coming to this little ragdoll again, so pushing up, letting the body hang forwards, knees are bent. Have a little swing there. Whether you're holding the elbows or the arms are on the ground, we'll have a little swing side to side. Releasing the lower back slowly does it. Breathing in and out through the nostrils, slowly. Good, and slowly rebuild yourself. Lifting from the base of the spine, leaving the arms heavy, knees are soft or bent actually. And coming back to standing. Nice and open and refreshed. Good. So a couple more things standing. We're going to come into a goddess because we haven't done this for a while. So feet are nice and wide apart. And this will again engage with that energy. Feet are uh, out at an angle. So rather than um, parallel, because that's where we want the knees to go. The knees are going to go in the same direction as the toes. So have a little play with that. But as you lower down, making sure that you're keeping the spine straight. So we're not pushing the bottom back, we're keeping the chest above the hips. So we're just bending down. Breathing in as you lift up, breathing out as you sink down. Let's see if we can go quite low here, bring the hands together in the prayer position, lifting the chest towards the hands, dropping the shoulders back. So we're just finding and strengthening and energizing the legs now to begin. This in itself, great for the legs, back, buttocks, feet. So now we're going to bring the arms in. We know this one, I think. So we're going to breathe in, lift the arms up. And breathing out, <sighs> these cactus arms, fingers wide, eyes wide, tongue out the mouth. Let's try that again. That was just a warm up. <sighs> Rasping in the throat sound. Get yourself ready, prepare. Let's do another one. <sighs> Good, make this really very strong expression. One more. Really let your sound down. <sighs> Good, okay. Let's just bring the feet together. Give the legs a little shake. And let's take a moment just to connect the energies and to just bring in that sense of gratitude that I was talking about. So look at the feet, lift the toes, place them down, lift the heels, place them down, connecting with the ground, with the earth, with the floor, with your feet, with your ground. Hands to the heart center, breathe in, to the heart, and then we're going to drop the fingers down to the ground. And open the hands on the inhale. As you lift up the hands, lift up the eyes. So when your eyes are going up to the skies, your hands just meet at that same moment and they come back to the heart center. Good, it's a beautiful circle. Breathing out, pointing down, breathing in. Lifting up, breathing out, right down through the heart, pointing the fingers to the earth. So we're just, this, this circle is the inhale, looking up, and the exhale is, is like this line you're doing from the top of the circle down to the bottom of the circle. So it's lovely, you've got this circle, this feminine shape, 
line, that direction, that focus is that more masculine kind of shape. So with this now, bringing these energies together, we bring into our practice gratitude. So it's to start to think about what do I feel grateful for in this moment or today? What has been something that has made me feel grateful? What am I glad for? And particularly the things that are just there all the time. Like if you feel well, you're not feeling ill, you know, you're feeling physically well. And that, you know, that's something fantastic to be grateful for. And, you know, this beautiful day of the sun is out, you know, that's something to be grateful for. Maybe something good happened, maybe you had a nice interaction today. Just whatever it might be. What am I grateful for today? Just allow that, allow those things to come into your into your mind, into your attention, and then let them come into your heart. So when they land in your heart, that idea, that image, that picture, that phrase, and feel the feeling that goes with that. What is that feeling, that sense? One more, breathing in. And breathing out. And let the hands just settle at the heart center, just the thumbs gently pressing to that sternum, and letting the, the heart reach up to the, the thumbs. Close the eyes for a moment. So you feel the feet on the ground, maybe lift the toes, place them down. You feel the knees are soft. You're feeling the back is upright, the chest is open. You're feeling a sense of your breath moving in and out without you doing anything. Maybe breathing into that chest area around the heart. And just take a moment to notice how is my heart today? Acknowledging that, noticing it giving it some description that could be words or it could be how you would describe the sense a feeling or a visual it might be a visual if you had to paint it or draw it or write a poem how would you describe that mm. okay and drop the hands down okay so we're going to um we'll do actually we'll do i wasn't going to do this we'll do a little a half sun salute here um, let me do a couple of these before we come to the ground. So we'll, we'll do just a very quick one. So feet hips width apart, breathing in, lift the arms up, above the head, bring the hands together, looking up, breathing out, hands coming out the sides, knees are bending, fingers come down to the ground. Breathing in, straighten the legs, hands come just below the knees, look forward, take the chest forward, take the shoulders back. Breathing out, forward bend with the straight legs, straight knees, bend the knees a lot now. Using the eyes to lift up, the arms lift up, and bring the hands together, and bring the hands back down. Breathing in, lift the arms up, breathing out, bring the arms down to the ground, knees are bent, looking to the toes. Breathing in, straighten the legs, arms back, look forwards. That's inhaling, exhaling, forward bend. Bend the knees a lot. Breathing in, lift the eyes, lift the hands, lift the heart, and bringing the hands back down. Good. One more time. Let's come into this one more time. Breathing in all the way up. Breathing out, hands coming down to the sides. Knees are bending, fingertips come down to the ground. Breathing in. Straighten the legs, arms back, hands just below the knees. And breathing out, forward bend. Bend the knees a lot, breathing in all the way up. And bringing the hands down, just to kind of move the energy around the body. Now I'm going to come into a forward bend. So either hand, hands on the back or arms extended, breathing in. Straight back, strong belly as you come forwards, all the way down. And make contact with the ground. So even if it's fingertips and even if your knees are quite bent, but as long as you have some kind of contact, or even you have something on the ground, between your hands and the ground if you need something. Coming up on the fingertips, look forward, breathe in. And breathing out, taking the chest towards the toes. Feeling the chest is coming towards the ground between the toes and feeling the base of the spine is lifting up. Feel this lengthened line, this energy, line of energy. These two points moving away from each other in space. Good. Breathe deeply. Every now and again, if you want to, just lifting the body away, breathing in. 
Breathing out. Just give yourself a bit more space, you know. It's good to do that. Take our attention off, off uh, away from this kind of pushing, pushing feeling. Instead, just give some more space. Breathing in. Lifting the back away. Good. Okay. So we're going to take a little step back. So soften the knees um, and lift the head away a little bit. Put the weight onto the left foot. We're going to step back a big step, big lunge, huge step. You might need to take a couple of steps. Make sure the feet are far away from each other so that when you bend that left knee, that, that back leg's got plenty of space to go back. Good. Hand either side of the left foot. You can rest your body onto the left thigh. But push that right heel back. So really getting that openness across the groin, but also getting strength in this leg here by pushing that right heel back. Good. Now drop that right knee to the ground. We're going to come up into this half moon. Breathe in, lift the arms up, bring the hands above the head, palms together. That's inhaling, extend up, lift the chest. And as you exhale, the, the groin goes forward and the arms go back. So it's lovely crescent moon. You can see that shape from the fingertips to that right toe, the toe that's behind you. And you can even look up to the sky or the ceiling opening the chest, opening the shoulders. Good. One more breath in and then bring the hands down to the ground. We're going to come into a plank briefly. So you'll need to lift that right knee off the ground, tuck the toe under first of all, lift the right knee and then send the left foot back. We're in a plank. Don't forget the chest is above the hands, not the face. This is what happens when you put the face above the hands. The bottom goes into the air. Strong back engaged arms not locked elbows soft open chest good neck in line with the spine strong body strong belly everything is engaged now you can lower yourself to the ground given the strength of your arms or you can bring your knees to the ground first of all so you choose and everyone's going to end up the whole body front of the body on the ground arms back behind you Breathing in, through the nostrils and out through the mouth. Good. Just relax, let everything, go. let everything go. Feel the ground, feel the breath. Good. So we're going to do a little back bend here. Simple back bend. Turn the arms over, palms on the ground. Bring the legs together. And bring the forehead to the ground. Legs are going to stay on the ground. So now all we're going to do is lift the eyes, lift the nose, lift the chin, lift the chest. Take the shoulders back. So pressing into the ground with the uh, our hands and then lifting the legs off the ground. Just bending the knees. So this is much stronger for the back. Having the legs up. It's a modified bow, really, you know. So it's a good one to practice. One more breath in and release down to the ground. Rest on the other side of the head, relax the legs down. Breathe in deeply, <sighs> sigh out to the mouth. So you can do the same thing again with the hands on the ground, or if you want to, bend the knees, lift the legs off the ground, take hold of the tops of the feet with the hands. This is a full bow. So if you find that you can reach the, the, the feet, then come into this position. Otherwise, place the hands on the ground and do the same as what we just did. So everyone's starting with the forehead on the ground, breathing in, lift the head, chin, chest, shoulders come back, and then finally the toes reach up to the ceiling. Good. So breathe deeply. Open the chest. Smile if you can. It will release some of the tension. Breathe. Get as much of your body off the ground as you can. One more breath in and release down. It's a strong back then. So we're going to come out into a counter pose almost immediately by pressing the hands into the ground. Push back. Sit back into the heels. Ah, into the pose of the swan. But we're going to make this a bit more exaggerated by making those little tenty hands. Bring them forward to the ground. Make little claws with the fingers. Gives you an extra release in the back of the shoulders. Creeping the fingers forward just to get a little bit of extra space. 
sit deeply back into the heels. Breathe into the back body. Feel the back ribs expand as you breathe. Feel those wings, those wings expanding. Good. And then relax the hands down. Just soften that all. Breathe into the nostrils. Ah, sigh out through the mouth. Keeping the hands in front, palms, fingers spread wide. Let's just move the back a little bit. On the inhale, come up onto all fours. On the exhale, drop the hips down, open the chest, shoulders back, lift the eyes. Breathing in, coming up to all fours, breathing out, sit back into the heels. Just enjoy this movement, breathing in. Breathing out, it's a free flowing movement, back and forth, but it's kind of, it's almost a circular feeling in it. So we're not stopping any point. We're just going with the breath, the out breath is ends and the in breath comes immediately, lifts us up. And the out breath. So let yourself be moved by that breath. In breath, lift up. Out breath, sit back. Right to the end of the out breath. And the in breath lifts you up off the ground. So it becomes effortless when we allow ourselves to be moved by the breath and keep a focus of our attention on that breath. Then everything has freedom. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Let's just slow everything down. One more. Breathing in. Feel your body being moved by that breath. Power of the breath. One more breath in, sit back into the heels. Sweep, bring the forehead to the ground, either place the forehead on the back of the hands or sweep the hands back into the pose of the child. So this posture, relaxed arms, let the shoulders really hang forwards, soften the mouth, the jaw, the lips, the tongue. And in fact, let's really emphasize that by breathing in through the nostrils and then making this Sound like a bit like a, a bit like a horse sound. So breathing in, just to free up the mouth and the jaw. Try that one more time. Good. Yeah, how much more free the cheeks and the mouth feel now? Lifting the head off the ground softly. And we're just coming into kneeling. We don't do kneeling so much, the, uh, the hero posture. Twisting the hands on the knees, sitting up tall, noticing what parts of the body are starting to complain, and knowing that you can always pad these areas up if you want to practice kneeling. Front of the foot often can get a little bit twingy. Place a cushion there or a blanket. This could be a very strong angle for you. Place a cushion again, or place blocks or something to sit on between your knees. These are the most the usual, the usual areas. Lifting the chest and breathing. We're just going to come up onto high knees now. So again, you can always soften this by placing um, a blanket or doubling up the mat underneath the knees. Just do one last thing here. So we're going to come into a camel. Again, this very opening, heart opening, um, expressive movement. So tuck the toes under. And we just start off by warming up, taking the hands to the lower back, supporting it, and just taking the hips forward, taking the elbows back towards each other, opening the chest, looking up to the sky or the ceiling. Very good for opening the front of the hips, the hips flexors there, and the fronts of the thighs, those quads, and the back, also the chest and shoulders. It's a strong back bend, but support yourself. Use the inhale to come up. Now, if you can, Reach that right hand back, make contact with that right heel, and then if you can reach back with the other hand, pushing the hips forward at the same time, and take hold, or at least even with, with the fingertips, taking hold of the heels. If you can't quite reach there yet, then place something on those heels, like a, some cushions, so you can make contact with something rather than hanging in space. Then looking up again at the sky, opening the chest, lifting the chest to the ceiling to the sky, throwing the shoulders back strongly, Whole front of the body is really opening up in your energy, heart energy, a powerful kind of, you know, very sunshiny energy in the body. And lifting up, 
So you can go over the heels, coming down to the knees and finding a way to come onto the seat. Stretch the legs out in front of you. We're going to roll down slowly. We're going to come into the, the slowing down breathing section. So before we do that, we're just going to slow this laying down, keeping that tension between the fingers and the toes, but keeping everything soft with the breath. So there's no tension really in the body. This is effort, but we're softening it with the breath. So breathing steadily in and out through the nostrils until your back is fully engaged with the ground. Then let the arms go. Take a deep breath in through the nostrils. <sighs> Sigh out through the mouth. In through the nostrils. <sighs> Sigh out through the mouth. Just take the arms above the head. Give yourself a full extension. Extend the whole body. Just give it lots of space. You feel the abdominals getting some space, getting some attention. Point the toes. Breathing in, point the toes. Breathing out, push the heels away. Breathing in, point the toes. Breathing out, push those heels away. We'll just do a couple more of those. So now we're going to come into just a relaxation, nice and easy. So you might want to just hug your knees just to ease out your back to begin. Rocking and rolling on the lower back. Good. Do whatever you feel is good. And then either, you give you a choice here, either place the soles of the feet on the ground. This is great for some semi supine for keeping the back really engaged with the ground. And you can either have the hands out to the side or rest the hands on the body if you prefer. And also you can also let the knees fall together. That releases any tension in the legs. You can also have the legs up the wall if you have a wall there or have the legs up onto some furniture or a seat. That's very nice. I mean, another one I'm going to give, give you lots too many choices now is come into this goddess position, placing the soles of the feet together. This is very nice if you're outside. I um, mean, if it feels too strong, you can always put padding underneath the um, knees, but it's lovely when you're lying on the earth to be in that goddess position. And if you're lying in that position, definitely have the hands out to the side. So really open, receptive to that earth. Or just come into Shavasana. So giving you lots of choices, just find whatever feels right for you. Once you're there, breathe in through the nostrils again. Close the eyes. Sigh out through the mouth. And as you do that, feel that everything is flowing away that you don't need. And do as many of, you, of those cleansing, releasing breaths as you need to. So take a deep, with the eyes closed, take a deep breath in through the nostrils. Fill the body with air. And then as you breathe out through the mouth, feel everything. Everything is you don't need is just moving, moving away, being released, being released. So take slow breaths. If you want to now, you can just let that all go. If you feel like you've done enough releasing breaths, then just let that all go. Soften your breath, keeping the eyes closed still. Feel the ground beneath you, supporting you. Feel your breath coming in and out of the body, softly. Feel the belly rising and falling softly. Breath coming in, breath going out. Breath coming in and breath going out. Good. Softening with each out breath. Before we come to the end of relaxation, just allow yourself to open and be receptive to that earth energy. You're lying on that earth on the ground and be bold and just allow yourself to 
ask for whatever you need from this earth, whatever is going to nourish and nurture you, whatever you feel you're not um, fully charged up with, whatever that might be. Make a very strong, distinct um, request. Yeah, ask for what you want. And give it a smile so you're acknowledging that. And then just very slowly we come to the end of the relaxation. So gradually now, waking up a little bit, breathing deeply, deepening the breath, waking the body up. Give yourself maybe a big stretch or hug the knees, just waking the body up gradually. Do whatever you feel you need to do to come slowly back up. Slowly come to seated, give yourself a stretch, look around you, just enjoying the space around you, the air around you, the space around you. Whatever it is around you, your home or the skies. And then we'll just acknowledge ourselves as well, rubbing the arms and legs. Really take a moment, even if this is not easy, just take a moment to acknowledge yourself, this body, this uh, in this moment. And be grateful for your practice, be grateful that you, you made that effort. Yeah, notice how the body feels now at the end of the practice. Then let's finish with our Sankalpa, rub the palms together vigorously, create some heat and energy between the hands. Really make that sparkly energy, sparking. And give that sparking energy to the heart center, one hand on top of the other. Really like you mean that, close your eyes. Breathe into that space and bring to mind your Sankalpa, your intention. Maybe there's something new for this season that we're coming into, that we're slowly moving into that we're transitioning into. And make that a strong phrase or sentence. What do you want to manifest and grow in this time? Say that to yourself. Take it into your heart space. Acknowledge it and give it space, energy, warmth, attention. All the things it needs to grow. Thank you. Namaste.